السلام علیکم مائی نیم از احمد اینڈ ناؤ فار دس پارٹ آف دا سیریز آن پی ایچ پی وی ول بی لکنگ ایٹ پی ایچ پی اریز فرسٹ آف آل لیٹس لک ایٹ جنرل اریز وٹ اریز آر اریز اسینشلی آر کنزیکٹو میمبی لوکیشنس ہیو دا سیم ڈیرا ٹائپ فار انسٹنس اے گروپ انسٹیڈ آف ڈکلیئرنگ ٹین ویریبلس آف اے سیم ڈیرا ٹائپ فار اسٹورنگ ٹین ڈفرنٹ نمبرس وی کین کریٹ این ایرے it will be consecutive memory location consecutive memory locations mean that in the ram consecutive memory blocks one after the other will be reserved for that array and all of them will have the same type data type this means that once created it cannot be resized why because being consecutive means that at the time of declaration that area will be reserved how much area will be reserved the area required by that data type multiplied by the number of blocks in the array so this will be the total size of the array that will be reserved in the beginning and cannot be resized and the size must also be determined at compile time so these four points generally um, explain how arrays are available in different programming languages and if we are to visually demonstrate an array this is how it would look For instance, an array of 10 size for storing integers will look like this. Arrays always start with 0 index and the number will continue till the length, total length that was 10 minus 1, 9 because it is starting from 0. And it can store any integer number because this array was created for purpose of storing integers. Now let's look at arrays in PHP. What makes PHP different from from other programming language with respect to arrays is that any variable can be changed to an array in other programming languages the array must be defined and the size everything should be determined at compiled whereas in php as we have already seen that php has variant data types so changing the contents changes the size types similarly changing a normal variable for instance changing a normal string variable and giving it the contents of an array will automatically change that particular variable into an array holder arrays can contain other way, other arrays now this is different from other programming languages all programming languages do have a concept of multi dimensional arrays but here what we are talking about is that an array of 10 size may not contain um just values but any particular index may contain further arrays and that array may contain further another array any index of that array not all so that is a very uh, flexible mode of storing numbers in arrays in php then indexes are dynamically added and dynamically removed that is very very um, convenient in php of course it it is so flexible that sometimes it is even confusing in the beginning and arrays of course will automatically grow you don't have to uh, redeclare arrays move data from one array to another all that happens automatically so for instance this is an array and i'm same array and this part this second index i want to store another array in this part but the rest i want all of it to be to remain as integer storage so this is easily possible in php plus note that any php array index can store any data type here we, we have integer this is also integer this is another array and now this array index is a string this is another string it is four but in double quotes an integer a boolean so this is a very very flexible mode of storing data in arrays so now let's go to our website this is our site here we have our let's open this site in our browser and Here we have the text editor, blank text editor. Let's create a variable and give it some name. 
errors in PHP. Refresh it. And uh, let's echo this. Errors in PHP, okay? Now what we can do over here is that well, all the time we do need this. Now how arrays are created, this is how an array is declared. This is an array, a blank array with nothing in it. You see first is the string we give. The second is telling us that it is an array. This is an array irrespective of what it is containing so basically echo is incapable of displaying the whole array we need to use the indexes or we need to use other functions to display an array so why not let's variable dump it refresh it so this is telling us that this is an array of zero size and containing nothing at all. Okay, now let's give it 10. Come over here, refresh it. You see, this is different from other programming languages. Over here, in any other programming language, when declaring arrays, this, the thing that is given in the package is basically the size of that array. But here, this is not our, this is not the size. This is what? This is a value that will be stored in this array. So now we have an array having only one index and that index which of course is numbered 0 contains an integer that is of value 10. This is what is understandable from this part. Then we can have a boolean. Then we can have some text and of course always we can have a floating number refresh it and this is how it is explaining to us now this array we have given it four values four is the size of the array on the first index it is integer 10 on the second index it is a boolean on the third sequence wise third but number wise second is a string of size length 4 containing text and on the last third index number wise we have a float 56.3 56.3 there is another way of easily representing it and that is um, using the pre tag of HTML pre tag is used to preserve the spacing white spacing otherwise HTML5 ignores white spacing refresh it you see now it is even easier to understand and read this part and as in one of the previous videos I told you that there is a dedicated function for printing arrays and that is print r refresh it this is even a more improved way of displaying the data that this is an array first index 10 1 1 is basically this is true that was variable dump this is just printing the values of that array print r function and these are the subsequent values for the subsequent values now for arrays we don't need to again I just, as I said that we don't need to redefine it if we need to add another value for instance I need to add um, I need to add a value of 200 to this array all I need to do is this is zero index this is the first this is the second and this is the third so i will what i'll do is fourth index will have 2000 over here let's go over here refresh it a fourth index is automatically added and 2000 is displayed is stored in it okay what if we don't need to even remember this number just give it uh, like this refresh it it's even still working
new index refresh it you see it's that simple adding contents to arrays is so simple if I give it a value of 2 what will happen this is this 0 index first second. so this will be replaced by 2000 save it refresh it you see this is this has been replaced by 2000 so if an array sees that a new index is given and that size is already that index is already present in that array override will like, exist if that was a new index that does not exist in that array or we even didn't even give it an, give it any index so it will create a new index for us and the array will uh, work just fine so what if we give a big value for instance 6 we know that this array it doesn't have 6 sizes it has only 5 1 2 3 4 5 I give it a value of 6 and you see 6 came over here so the numbering is isn't also doesn't has to be in sequence of course this will create a problem for us if we use uh, loops but anyway it does work like this there is another way of fixing this problem let me repeat it once again I gave a different number a number that was out of sequence 6 this array size was uh, was supposed to have an index of 5 now but I gave it an index of 6 skipping 5 so what it did didn't give me give me any error in fact it did accept it and it um, skipped fourth and the fifth value so now what will happen if I use loops of course fourth and fifth are missing so it might give me an error let me show you how it will work if I try to access the fourth value or the fifth value refresh it so you see it is telling me that undefined offset 5 so this is giving me an error so of course this is not possible now but there is a function, there is a special function in PHP to fix this problem. Array values refresh it. You see what it did? Let me show you once one more time. Copy it, take it upstairs, refresh it. Now look, this was our original array we added the 6 index then we call this function passed this array it went passed through this function and came out as array and we uh, reassigned it to that same name and now when we print it look at it basically it has re-indexed that array that, uh, that array is now from 0 to 1 to 3 4 and it's working fine perfectly fine so this is one way of adding um, adding the size adding to the size of an array there are other ways also for instance um sorry it was I think array push I'm forgetting it right now yes I'm extremely sorry for the confusion uh, there's, a, there's another function in arrays called array underscore push it works just like a stack F this first parameter is the name of the array the variable and which value you want to push to it so there's this is another way of adding data to an array 100 has been pushed to the last index and of course after re-indexing everything works fine so this is a way these are the ways of adding values to arrays what if we want to remove values from an array let me get rid of all this 
save it, refresh it, okay. To remove value from uh, from an array, all we need to do is use the unset function. I'm telling it to unset unset this index a2 save it over here go refresh it you see the second index has been removed 10 true text this has been removed and of course we can again use that array function or we can simply this is one way of doing. we can simply use the array variable array values again so I believe this is You see now what happened the opposite of array push is array pop another way of removing values from an array so this is how values can be added to an array values can be removed from an array arrays can also be used to store array indexes can also be used to store another array for instance on the zero index I'm adding another array and how will I assign values to it 0 index 0 is 100 over here let's go refresh it you see now on the 0 index there is another array and that array contains 100 value or maybe more values we can add it's a kind of a sub array more like it so arrays can store any data type array can be truly dynamic any any index can be added anywhere re-indexing is possible arrays values can be pushed in an array values can be popped out of an array array indexes can be unset and arrays can even contain sub arrays uh, one more thing let me further elaborate that this unset function basically this is not specific to arrays Array unset can be used to assign um, undeclare or delete away any variable it doesn't have to be a, an array unset and give in the parameters you can give any variable and it will simply delete that number okay now um, let's simplify things concentrate on an integer array refresh it we have an array of numbers now okay let's get out get some data out of this we have a function called count count is basically used to count the number of indexes in an array so 4 or in other words let's say array size array size is 4 then there are other functions also telling me the minimum value in that array and yes you can verify it also the opposite of minimum value as you may guess is maximum value refresh it and this is what we are getting that 1 2 1 2 is the maximum value as obviously that uh, obviously readable from this example okay now uh, we have another function that is called sort fresh it the values have been sorted now another function we have is the reverse sort method arrays uh, the values in this array have been 
now reverse sorted so you can imagine that um, common uh, things do exist in this example uh, we do also have another method in arrays that is called is array whether a particular variable is array or not so before making a an array let's try this is array this returns a boolean A is not an array. Copy it, take it down. After making it into an array, and now it is telling me A is an array. So this function is telling us that whether this variable is an array or not, is it storing an array or not. Arrays, um, arrays can be used as uh, stacks. We, uh, we just saw it. We just pushed and popped the values. Arrays can be um, used to sort, um, reverse sort, show the minimum value, maximum value, count, etc. Now, what if we need to search a particular value in an array? in underscore array this is a function which is used to um, search a particular value in an array so what we can do is first of all what do you need to search 100 secondly what exactly is the array name this is the array name send it refresh it nothing is displayed basically it returns a boolean value and uh, if I give it for instance 1 to 1 to refresh it this is telling me 1 that is true simply I can paste this all in let me copy it and let's undo the changes so that we can get our yes now instead of this is array let's use all this function in array found and not found go over here refresh it found one two one two exist how about one three one two not found so array searching is also possible using um, the built-in functions of arrays so um, the, this is a basically a simple view of arrays. Now let's uh, see a different topic in arrays that is associative arrays. We have used uh, right now we have used the standard uh, the standard indexing thing that is zero one two three numeric indexing. PHP arrays also uh, make it possible for us to use um, key values with arrays. Now we don't need this. Hopefully you are clear what it was. What are associative arrays? Mm. For instance, ID. get the idea this is an associative array 
associative arrays can um, basically they do not have to start with 0 1 index any value anything can be given in fact even 0 can be given over here as an index but now in this case um, the, uh, we will be referring to this value by giving this index only we cannot use either 0 or ID we have to stick to this part we can also have an array a normal array of associative arrays by the way let me spell it associative arrays so we can also have an array of associative arrays um, how is it possible You see, this is how it is possible. We have a normal array of zero numeric index and each of that index has another array that is an associative array. So it is very useful and in case of database reading, file reading, XML objects, this is extensively, extensively used, associative arrays. Okay, um, before closing down on this topic, uh, we also should look at a specialized loop that is a for each loop for reading arrays. For each loop, the syntax of for each loop is that, um, for instance, I have to write over here for e a for each a as let me give it a proper name for each list as item and over here we can say it it's working let's understand okay this is giving me an error okay let me explain now uh, this is the same code we just renamed it so to a more understandable name for each loop works like this for each now this list is um, this this uh, loop will keep on running as long as all of the outermost indexes of um, list have been executed we don't have to the benefit of using for each loop is that we don't have to ca calculate the size of that array using uh, uh, user count and then we have to increment a value for the loop control variable we don't have to do those things this will do it automatically for us each time this loop will run the um, the current um, the current index of this array will be copied to this variable item now item will store this for the first loop item will store this array for the second time and item will store this for the third time and each time we are displaying the name of that array so that is very simple um, so I hope this has helped you a lot in understanding the concept of arrays in PHP uh, for the next chapter uh, we will continue uh, our uh, quest for PHP. Allah Hafiz.